Hello, David here, and welcome to a tutorial on the Dosan Robots Connectivity plugin, where you will learn how to connect visual components to a virtual Dosan robot controller running on Dosan Dart Studio software. To begin, you should have Dosan Dart Studio installed, and in Visual Components, enable the connectivity plugin. And we are also using the post processor add-on available from the Visual Components forum. To install the add-on, extract the download into your Visual Components My Commands folder and restart the application. The post process button will then appear in the export section of the program tab. Links to anything that is required will be included in the video description. And when following any tutorial, check the lesson in the Visual Components Academy. And if the download files option appears, you can download the example files. Let's begin by checking our simulation model. We have a simple setup with a Dosan M1013 connected to a gripper. And in this application, we will grasp the cylinder and place it on the other block. Now let's check the signal connections on the model. The gripper is connected to robot outputs 1 and 2, and the gripper sends the signals to inputs 1 and 2. Note that when you are using output ports between 1 and 81, you may need to configure the signal actions bound to those outputs. So in this case, by default, output number 1 would be configured for a grasp action, and we will just disable that action by setting nulls on the signal actions panel for output 1. So for outputs 1 and 2, we will disable the signal actions, and the grasp action is configured to output 10, and it uses the tool frame called tool underscore TCP. Now let's reset and play the simulation to see how it looks. The robot grasps the cylinder and places it there. One note on the program is that currently we cannot use the input and wait input signal statements in our robot programs. Refer to the video description for more information. And now let's reset the simulation and start by post-processing our robot program. From the program tab, use the post-process button to launch the post-processor action panel, where we can select some settings for the post-processor. Click Select Output to select the output file location. We will use our downloads folder and name our file test.drl. The Dosan scripting file extension that the post processor produces and click save. We will leave this option as default and click post process. And from the output panel below, we can see that the add-on wrote the job file to the selected location. And now let's go to the Dosan Dart Studio side to set up our virtual controller. We have created a new project in Dart Studio and let's first run the virtual controller. Click on Set Robot Type and select the Dosan M1013, click OK and then click Run Simulator. And selecting the Motion Monitoring tab below, we can see the 3D model of the selected robot. Then we right click on the Motion Monitoring tab and select New Vertical Tab Group, allowing us to view the Task Manager and Motion Monitoring tabs side by side. And selecting the Task Manager tab on the left, right click on the default main.drl file and select Remove File from Project. Then right clicking on the Source Files folder, select Import Existing File to import the DRL file we created in Visual Components. Select the test.drl file from our downloads folder, click open, and then click yes to reload the project. In the program editor, we can see the script file that the post processor add-on created. The post processor will include the base frame definitions, but the tool frame definitions need to be configured manually. The header of the job file includes a common section where the used TCPs are defined as comments only. And to define this tool frame location on the controller, 
right click on the robot configuration and select Edit Robot Configuration. Expanding the Tools section, right click on TCP and click Add Item to add a new TCP. We will name the tool frame Tool underscore TCP and moving the Robot Configuration dialog to the right so we can see the comments in the header of the script. Let's use the same coordinates as the comments in the header. There is a Z offset of 119 and the last angle is 90 degrees. Then click Confirm below to apply the changes. And right clicking on User Setting on the left, select Apply Item. So the entire tree under Robot Configuration displays the green icons. And we can then click Close and close the Robot Configuration dialog. And that should be all that is needed to run the program from the post processor. And to run the program, click the Run button on the left or press F5. And we can see the virtual controller move like the robot in Visual Components. And now returning to Visual Components, let's try to connect the model there to the virtual controller. And before we connect the robot from the Component Properties panel on the right, in the Executor tab, Uncheck is enabled so that the simulation will not run the program in the Visual Components Executor. And now in the Connectivity tab, we will create a server for the Dosan Robots protocol. Right clicking on Dosan Robot, click Add Server. And in the Edit Connection panel on the right, click Test Connection. To test the connection to the virtual controller running on the local host address on our PC, the connection is successful. So we can click OK and then apply below on the right. We can now establish a connection by clicking the server Connect Disconnect icon. And now we should right click on the server to simulation group and select Add Variables. We will first pair the joint values from the virtual controller, which are found in the current pose folder. On the simulation model on the left, we will use the search field and type in the word value. And holding the control key, multi select all six joint value properties in the tree. And on the server side on the right, holding the shift key, select all joints by selecting the first and last item, and then click Pair Selected. And from the Paired Variables panel below, confirm that all six joints were paired in the correct order. We will then clear the search field on the left, and to connect the output signals, check the Signal Maps option. And expanding the Dosan M1013 robot item and its outputs, holding the control key, multi select output ports 1, 2, and 10. And on the server side, expand digital outputs. And holding the control key, multi select the same ports 1, 2, and 10 and click Pair Selected. And again, from the Paired Variables panel below, confirm that the pairs were connected in the proper order. We can now close the Connected Variable Pairs dialog, and above, in the Connectivity tab ribbon, click Show Variables, if the Connected Variables panel is not visible, as we will need it for debugging. Then before placing the Visual Components and DOSA and Dart Studio applications, Side by side, we can increase the size of our 3D layout view by hiding both the connectivity configuration and properties panels. And to place the apps side by side, holding the Windows key, use the arrow keys to place visual components on the left, and then select Dart Studio to place it on the right. And to test the connection on the left in visual components, reset and play the simulation and click Run in Dart Studio on the right. The robot will begin to move, so the connection is OK. However, the cylinder was not grasped, and in the Connected Variables panel below, we can see that the I.O. signals did not change their values. And to simulate the I.O. signals on the virtual controller in Dart Studio, click Run GPIO Simulator. 
We will then again reset and play the simulation in visual components and click run in Dart Studio. And now with the IO simulator enabled in Dart Studio, the outputs are triggered in visual components and the cylinder is now grasped as expected. So now we have the connection established and the program running as expected. And this concludes the tutorial. Thank you for watching.